Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. Para sa video natin ngayon, ang magiging focus natin ay yung factoring techniques. Pero sa video natin, ang magiging focus natin is on how to use common monomial factoring. So, ano ba importance nitong topic na to? Or bakit kailangan natin mapag-aralan or ma-master yung skill ng pag-factor ng polynomials? Basically, Uh, you can use this when you are in the topic of solving quadratic equations. Kasi hindi kayo makakalagpas ng topic na yun hanggat hindi kayo marunong mag-factoring. So, ang target natin para series natin ngayon ay yung factoring techniques. And bear with me, you need to master out the skill or master the skill of common monomial factoring. Now, for today's objective, mayroon tayo rito dalawa. Una, you have to find the greatest common factor or the GCF of a polynomial. And the second one is for you to factor out a polynomial by its GCF. So, kung mapansin niyo po, meron tayo ritong lagi minimension na GCF. It is important for us to know the greatest common factor of a term or a polynomial for us to do CMF or common monomial factoring. Now, let's do some examples for us to use common monomial factoring. So, we have here item number 1, 3x plus 3y. Ang target natin is to express the given polynomial in two factors. So, what is the first step? Ang first step na kailangan nyo gawin is find first the GCF of each term na meron tayo sa ating polynomial. As you can see, sa ating polynomial, yung bawat term niya ay composed of coefficient and variable. So, paano ba hanapin ang GCF? As you can see, we have here 3x plus 3y. Una niyong kailangan isipin, ano ba yung GCF ng ating coefficients? The coefficients are 3 and 3. So, basically, the coefficient or the GCF of the coefficient is 3. Now, ang next na pupuntahan ngayon is alamin ano ba yung GCF ng mga variables. So, the variables are x and y at, and logically speaking, walang common. So, simply, the GCF of the given polynomial in number 1 is 3. So, paano ba natin i-express yung factor niyan? So, unang factor natin is 3. And then, to get the other factor, you need to divide each term by the GCF, which is 3. Ito yan. Ginamit natin to. So basically, 3x times 3x divided by 3 is x. And then, the second term will also be divided by 3. And 3y divided by 3 is simply y. And then this is positive. So therefore, the factor of item number 1 is simply 3 times x plus y. That's it. So, let's go with item number 2. Now, let's go with item number 2. We have here 3x plus 6. So, basically, ang kailangan natin gawin is to find first the GCF of the given polynomial. So, GCF. So, same thing. Alamin mo na yung GCF ng 3 and 6. So, basically, their GCF or greatest common factor is 3. And since wala tayong variable, therefore, the greatest common factor is 3. And then, ang gagawin nyo ngayon dito, the, factors, the first factor is 3. And then, mag-prepare kayo ng parenthesis to separate the factors. So, divide the first term by your GCF, which is 3. And 3x divided by 3 is simply x. And then, for the second term, you have 6 divided by 3, your GCF. That would be plus 2. So, ibig sabihin, sa item, item number 2, the factors of the given polynomial is simply 3x plus 3 times x plus Now, let's go with item number 3. We have here x raised to 5 plus x raised to 7. As you can see, ang coefficient natin dito is invisible 1. All we have here is the variables. So, unang step is to find first the GCF. And then, 
Para ba natin yung GCF? Ang ginagawa ko rito, since common yung variable x, so you have your x, eh sir, paano yung exponent? So you have here the exponent of 5 and 7. So ang gagamitin mo dyan ay yung may pinakamababang exponent, which is 5. Bakit? Wala naman tayong x raised to 7 sa loob ng x raised to 5. So basically, ang meron tayo ay x raised to 5 for both terms. So, this will be your common monomial factor, yung x raised to 5. And then you have your parenthesis divided by x raised to 5. Basically, that is 1 plus, ito naman, x raised to 5 divided by x raised to 5. So, minus nyo lang. That will give you x raised to 2. So, therefore, the factors of item number 3 is simply x raised to 5 times 1 plus x squared. That's it. So, habang tumatagal, mas pahirap ng pahirap yung examples natin. Let's go with item number 4. For item number 4, we have 12 x raised to 3 minus 16 x raised to 6. Find the GCF. Ang GCF natin dito sa numbers, so coefficients, 12 and 16. So, I think that is 4. Tama? 4. So, for the variables, since common yung variable x, you need to write here x, and then look at the coefficients. You have 3 and 6, so you will choose 3. So, the greatest common factor of those terms is 4x cubed. So, divided by 4x cubed, makakancel na to, makakancel na to, it will give you, ah, sorry, Lagay muna pala natin yung ating common monomial factor. And then, pag dinivide nyo to, 12x cubed divided by 4x cubed, that will give you 3. Minus 4x cubed ulit. 16 divided by 4, that will give you 4. And then for the variables, 6 minus 3, that is x raised to 3. Therefore, the factors of item number 4 is simply 4x cubed times 3 minus 4x cubed. So, papunta na tayo sa last item natin. Let's go with item number 5. So, in this item, don't be confused kasi marami na tayong variables. Kaya pa rin natin i-factor out yan. So, find first the GCF. Puntahan nyo yung number. The numbers are 9 and 27. So, the GCF of those coefficients is 9. Now, look at the variables. Variable x, y, and z are common to these two terms. Meron tayong x, meron tayong y, meron tayong z. May x, y, and z. So, ang gagawin nyo lang ngayon, alamin nyo kung ano yung exponent ang gagamitin nyo. For the variable x here, the exponent is 2. Dito naman is 1. So, x raised to 1 lang tayo. Or x. So, y naman, you have the exponents of 4 and 3. So, you will be using the power of 3. And for, for the c variable, you have 8 and 4. You will be using 4. So, ito na ngayon yung ating common monomial factor or GCF. So, lagyan natin dito. The common monomial factor is 9x y raised to 3 z raised to 4. At lagyan ng parenthesis and divide each term of the polynomial of the given polynomial by your common monomial factor 9x y cubed C raised to 4. So, 9 divided by 9, that is 1. And x squared divided by x is x. y raised to 4 divided by y raised to 3, that is y. z raised to 8 divided by z raised to 4, that will give you z raised to 4. Minus nyo lang. And then, negative sign. This is divided by 9 x y cubed z raised to 4, 9, 27 divided by 9 is 3. 
So x divided by x is 1. No need to write x. y cubed divided by y cubed is 1. z raised to 4 divided by z raised to 4 is simply 1. Ibig sabihin, this will be the factors of 9x squared y to the 4th power z raised to 8 minus 1 is 7 x y raised to 3 z raised to 4. So if you have any question about this video, pwede kayo mag-comment down below. And by the way, sa mga sudyante or teachers na gustong mag-request ng topic, you can comment down below your topic request. By the way, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-suporta and God bless.